Physical abuse is often the type of abuse that is validated as a marker for abuse. But there are other types of abuse that are just as important and which are often the precursors for physical abuse. These are psychological and emotional abuse. Although intangible, psychological and emotional abuse can greatly damage a person, sometimes even more so than physical abuse. Here is a list of signs that you've been emotionally abused in the hopes to help with early identification of abusive relationships. Number 1. Withdrawal Withdrawal can manifest in many forms. It can look like avoiding eye contact, showing fear or hesitancy towards others or a specific person. It can take the form of isolation where the person doesn't go out or speak to anybody. Emotionally abused people withdraw to feel safe. It may also be to try to avoid or become invisible to the abuser in hopes that the abuse will stop. But withdrawal can lead to other serious physical and psychological problems if it's done for too long. It might develop into another mental illness or make the one already present worse. Number 2. Low self-esteem and worthlessness Low self-esteem and worthlessness can be expressed verbally with phrases like I'm not good enough or worthy enough, I don't matter, nobody listens to me, or some variations of those. To identify that low self-esteem or worthlessness is a problem, the person has to be constantly saying these things. Another way this can manifest is in a refusal to participate in things that they used to enjoy, or not doing rituals that they used to do every night or every morning. Number 3. Changes in appetite or weight Some abusers take control to the point where they start keeping tabs on what the other person eats. Then, they try to convince the other person to change their diet. In most cases, these changes in diet are not healthy and keep the victim in a weakened state. The abused person may keep this mentality even after the events have transpired because they are still convinced that this is the right thing to do, that they'll become fat and ugly if they do not continue with it, or that something bad will happen if they don't. Do you relate to these three signs so far? Let us know in the comments below. Emotional abuse is one of the most difficult types of abuse to identify. It may be subtle and sneaky, but it can be extremely detrimental to your mental health and well-being, which is why we're committed to making mental health content like this more accessible to raise awareness. If you'd like to support our cause, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Number 4. Frequent crying or angry bursts Frequent crying or having bursts of anger and irritability are regarded as signs of distress. Due to the abuse, the victim becomes anxious and hypersensitive to people. They overanalyze everything to try to minimize whatever conflict they think might come. When the anxiety, the fear, or the trigger becomes too much, you may cry uncontrollably. Crying can also be in response to flashbacks or thinking about being punished or abused again for making further mistakes. It can also be expressed as anger instead of sadness in angry outbursts that may or may not make any sense. This is all those suppressed emotions and feelings of violation developed throughout the abuse coming out because they finally feel safe enough to let it all out. Number 5. Blaming themselves for things Is it normal for you to apologize to inanimate objects like a chair or a sofa after you accidentally bump into it? Do you blame yourself for small things or things out of your control? The abuser often tries to shift all blame and guilt onto the victim, making them believe that it was their fault that things went wrong. After some time of repeating this and supposed reinforcement of outside events, the victim comes to believe this, so automatically blames and apologizes for everything, even when there was no way for them to control or know about the situation at all. Number 6. Fears Law Enforcement Officers Another sign that you may have been emotionally abused or someone near you may have been emotionally abused is an unfound or extreme fear of law enforcement officers. Abusers know that what they're doing is wrong and they are aware of the consequences of their actions, which is why they look for ways to prevent their victims from getting help. One of those ways is to make them believe that the police are bad or something bad will happen if they call them. It is a well-known fact that not everybody likes the police for different reasons. Still, there is something to be said when it comes to extreme fear towards them. It could be possible that this person could have had a bad experience with the police that left them traumatized. But if you know that this person has never had an interaction with the police, there may be another cause. Getting help If you are a victim of emotional abuse, or you suspect that someone is a victim of emotional abuse, we strongly suggest that you reach out to a mental health professional near you. Getting that emotional and psychological help will pave the way for you or your loved one to become stronger to leave the abusive relationship. It is scary to reach out for help, 
But reaching out for help is one of the best ways to end the cycle of abuse and get your life back. You are worthy and you deserve to be happy. So get yourself help and don't look back. Do you recognize any of these signs? If so, do you think this video helped you identify them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others unaware of these. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.